Rodney, I help, couldn't help but wonder, uh, we saw Back to School at the same time. I saw you in the theater uh, for the screening. <coughs> when you watch the film yourself, and first of all, welcome, and it's good to see you again. Nice seeing you. Jumping nice right into again. the first question there and <laughs> didn't say hello to you again. But uh, I was just wondering if when you watched the film, if you thought what you got the greatest personal satisfaction from your acting performance, which was very good, or listening to the lines, some of the lines that you wrote. I, uh, well, I appreciate <clears throat> the fact when the audience is a good time, they're enjoying it, I feel great. But as far as looking at myself, as concerned, I'm very critical. I say, I always think I should have done that different and that different. I mean, a lot of people that way, you know, they don't like the way they did things when they look at themselves doing them. Yeah. So uh, you'd say you're more critical of the way you look than the, uh, the lines. Way I, that you always feel you should have done that. You look mm -hmm. bad doing this. So who knows? That's the way people are crazy, you know. But uh, intellectually, you can hear them all laughing, having a good time. But emotionally, is what you feel. But yeah. who knows what yeah. it is. A lot of people feel that way, you know. Some of the lines uh, that I particularly enjoyed, I want to ask you if you wrote them, if you were involved with them. I wrote or, most of the one-liners. The one-liners, yes. yeah, like, uh, um, uh, I wouldn't lie to you, Dean Martin. And that was... Uh, well, that wasn't a line. It was his name in the movie. Yeah. So that was yeah. his name given to him by, I don't know, I think ha I didn't give him that Shakespeare name. Shakespeare for everyone. Shakespeare, I did not write that. I wrote the next line. I'd like, like to tame, to tame your, your shrew. Yeah, yes. that, that was a good one. Okay. Um, when you uh, started, you started your career, stopped your career, started that sort of thing. Uh, what were some of the hurdles, uh, Rodney, that you had to, in doing, in developing a career that way? You started, stopped, started. Were some, I, there were I, some tough hurdles? No, I just quit show business. I want to get married, lead a decent, yeah. normal life. And I found out that no one's normal and decent. People outside <laughs> show business, too, are crazy. <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that's true. Yeah. Um, but uh, you didn't find it uh, difficult to make the connections again or did to you go back to go business? back into show business. I think it's very difficult when you're 40 years old going back in the toughest racket in the world. Everyone tells you you're crazy. What are you doing? And you still go back into it. And something. I think it's tough, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. There was <laughs> I something. So. I heard you say something in uh, the press conference that really impressed me with the reporters uh, yesterday, where you said that um, the love of a woman. Would, was more important to you. Yeah, I was looking for love in life. You know, the roar of the crowd is over. You're alone then after the show. Yeah. You look for someone to hang out with. You know what I mean? I'm still alone. You, I well, can't find no one to hang out with. <laughs> <laughs> we, we talked to, when you said hang out with, it reminds me of when we had this conversation for Easy Money that uh, uh, I grew up on the south side of Chicago and had a lot of buddies like the guys, the characters in that movie. and. And you said, uh, you know, I just I like to hang out with guys, eat pizza in the basement, play cards, and rather than go to Europe and and look at paintings. Well, uh, I was never. I didn't have time to develop myself artistically. I guess I was mm -hmm. interested in survival when I was a kid, so I was not a uh, connoisseur on art because I never had my head went to survival. You know, mm -hmm. not to. Uh, but, uh, I'm guilty of not being artistically informed in many areas. But as far as the first move, Easy Money is concerned, you say that uh, I feel more at home having a pizza with guys. Yeah. And, uh, maybe I lied. I don't know. I really feel <laughs> I want a pizza with any guys. I don't know. I'd rather be having a steak with a chick yeah. somewhere than pizza with guys. What the hell is that? <laughs> okay. Uh, Harold Ramis played a part in this. Big movie. part, yes. He uh, took the idea of me going to college and he sent me back rich. It was it was his idea to actually go to college yeah. rich. Yeah, where you could build the whatever administration do, building yeah. and do whatever you want to do. That that was great. Uh, uh, some of the young comedians today you mentioned yesterday that have impressed you. Could you tell our viewers in Arizona who you who, who I like today? Yeah, who you like today? A fellow named yeah. Sam Kennison. I never heard of him. I guess. Sam Kennison. <laughs> yes, I have. He was my HBO special, yeah. and he's also in the movie. He's the history teacher. Yes, mm -hmm. he is great. Professor yeah. Ferguson. That's right. And yeah. I'm Professor Ferguson. Yeah. So there was <laughs> but he was super. Yeah. Uh, female comedian, Barr, a young lady, Rosanna Barr. Roseanne Barr. Barr. Rosanna Barr. Yeah, she'll be in my uh, HBO special I'm doing. Mm -hmm. uh, and speaking of things coming up, uh, possibly uh, Caddyshack 2? I don't know. That's, they mentioned that, but nothing it hasn't been written or anything. That's uh, it's nothing definite. Nothing definite. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Which do you, do you prefer, uh, now that you've finished this movie and it's history and it's going to make a lot of people happy, a lot of laughs, and particularly the Rodney Dangerfield fans, um, do you prefer still the 
a concert scene as to making a movie if you a live wish. performance yeah a live performance yeah well it's uh, emotional satisfaction immediately you know when you do that so it's a uh, I mean, that's what I was brought up in doing that yeah. kind of work so I'm yeah. at home with that you know very easily and much more so than well than it's uh, what I'm used to doing it's less easier to do you work an hour a night and you're finished movies are 12 14 hours a day you know yeah now that you've seen the finished product are you how do you feel about it well, it's, I can't be objective because I'm too close. I can only go what everyone else says. They all say they're all, everyone is extremely positive about it and every way well, they all think it's uh, yeah. one of the goodies. <laughs> I think so, too. Uh, looking forward to seeing you come to Tucson someday and doing a uh, comedic western. Okay. <laughs> Why not? It'd be great. <laughs> I'll do a high in the saddle. A high in the saddle. <laughs> Rodney, good seeing you. Nice seeing you. Thank you very much. Take care.